Oh my gosh, dude, you weren't kidding. Look at the Japanese maple, more iris blooming. Oh, this is heaven. Wow. Oh my, oh, I love that little bench there, fitting there. Yeah, I love those stones. That right over there is the future home of our four-year-old Bengal tigers. Here's what a project looks like that's ongoing. This is what it looks like. Look at that slope. Lifestyle. Look at that drilled rock. That is so unique. I love that stone. Wow. Look at the size of these rocks. Oh, and the iris are blooming. Nice. Okay, believe it or not, this is somebody's house. Very famous. Not a lot to say whose house, but I am just checking out their water feature. Look at those beautiful Louisiana iris. Yellow and purple. Oh, I am jealous. And look at that waterfall. How old is this, Steve? I built this like in 2000, 2008, 2009. So this has been run in for 13, 14 years, huh? Wow, very nice. Oh my gosh, dude, you weren't kidding. Look at the Japanese maple, more iris blooming. Oh, this is heaven. Wow. Oh my, oh, I love that little bench there, fitting there. Steve, some of these rocks are gigantic. Look at the size of that boulder down there. And that's just sitting on the liner? Yeah. Wow, that's gotta be a 10 ton rock. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is someone's house. Love the log. We're gonna be opening up soon. When did you put this one in? We put this one in about uh, two years ago. Okay, so this is the latest then. Oh, dude, I love it. So you got a wetland filter up top. Oh yeah, look at how cute that is. With the flagstone, little waterfalls, more blooming irises. What a cool house too. <laughs> that is cool. You got the lilies. Look at this walkway across here. That's new. Come on across. Yeah, I love those stones. You got the skimmer right here. It looks like somebody dig dug something up. Yeah. Where's the, what the hell's going on? There's the skimmer. Yeah, look at that. Wow, right at the entrance to this spectacular house. Friendly. But wait, there's more. So he's from Minnesota. He wanted a little creek. So plants have taken over a little bit. Though. Look at this. Holy cow. I have no idea what all these plants look, but it looks like something straight out of Dr. Seuss. A little bench here overlooking the ocean. How nice is that? Pacific Ocean with the sound of water behind you. Water falls up there. And then an overgrown creek <laughs> with, a, I don't know, some sort of a wagon, a really cool old wagon more just keep going but wait there's more oh another creek look at this what kind of plant is this this is called cousin it so how long so, ago did you put this uh, in six seven years ago it's a variable speed pump and for some reason the the pump is not flowing but well it's not going as fast but yeah, it's yeah. so this is like a, a oh yeah on this waterfall that goes down there oh man and all these benches to enjoy it through by that sound Wow. This is a palmist, but we built a, a bit of a pool. Like back. a reflecting pool. Because the uh, the dogs like to go in. Oh, really? The big mastiffs. Yep. And there's the back of the house. Wow. 
How much property is here? Well, maybe 10 acres. 10 acres. Pretty cool. Man, it's just a jungle out here. Look at that chimney. So this was an unexpected stop, huh? So at the Wildlife Learning Center, where I did the uh, enclosure for the eagles, his wife actually is a vet over here at the zoo. So we're gonna come visit the view and maybe see if we can uh, talk about some animal water features. The exotic animal training and management. Pretty interesting, looks like a nice place. Wow, all right, let's check it out. Always an adventure. Why does it feel like we're entering Jurassic Park? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mara. <laughs> I'm the pond guy, Greg. And this is Steve. Hi, how are you? Hi, Steve. <laughs> nice nice to, meet to meet you. you. This is Elisa. Hi, Elisa. Hi, Hi Elisa. Hi. Nice to meet Hi. you. Hi, nice oh, to meet and you. and there's a vulture. What is this place? This place is heaven on earth if you love animals. <laughs> awesome. Is, that sounds good to us. It is the home. It's America's Teaching Zoo is the name of the zoo. It is the home of the Exotic Animal Training and Management Program. So it is the only major in the country where students can come and get two years experience on the zoo and in the classroom learning how to care for exotic animals. That yeah. is so cool. Oh, you, know, you were in the presence of a movie star too. Puppy was in the movie Airplane. Oh, oh. <laughs> Airplane's an old movie. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How long do those buzzers live? He's in his 40s. Yeah, he's okay. Some yeah. of us live old. <laughs> so we were over at the Wildlife Learning Center in Silmar. Uh -huh. He said his wife David, works here. His wife is a vet here. Yep. Right, yeah. right. Yep. So yeah, I just built a enclosure for the eagles. We did a little I just walk. saw it. Yes, I yes. So we're, yeah, so we're Looks nice, doesn't that. it? And then I did a little uh, pond feature for the alligator, Fluffy. Oh my gosh. So that Fluffy is huge. Yes, it is. Yeah. I hadn't seen Fluffy yeah. in forever. Yeah, no, and I was Fluffy like, is oh my ginormous. God. What can we do for you today? Well, would you like to build a pool for a tiger? <laughs> That sounds right up our alley. <laughs> well, I need to know more about you. That's why Elisa's here. That right over there is the future home of Neil and Karma, our four-year-old Bengal tigers. We have been working on this project. We broke ground in November. Its estimated completion is early fall. It is going to be a magnificent exhibit that incorporates two enclosures connected by a bridge. The tigers will be able to walk over and guests can walk under. We're going to keep a very large tree in the exhibit and our dream is to have a beautiful rock pool and that's already in the plans well you've met With the pond guy you've and met the pond guy and, and steve who i live right in the area no. and that's what we do and you are the the pond what is it what's your new maybe name maybe the prince the pond prince or the zen master the zen master steve, the zen master i love it let's go check it out how big of an area is this so this is it this this, this. And, it's that and, that. and how many tigers are going to go in here two, two. that's nice so looking at the plans now. So what's that structure going to be? That's exhibit A. And so the bridge that will connect these two exhibits will go right over this walkway. And where were you thinking about the water feature? Uh, right behind that pile, right by the tree there. Where ah. the pile of dirt is. Scoop of chocolate, scoop of vanilla. Scoop of chocolate, scoop of vanilla. Don't waste my time. <laughs> They're going to go from this to that, which is going to be amazing. How many tigers do you have? Two. Okay. So the people that are in school here will learn to work with tigers. Yep. Well, well you have a hundred different species of animals. What do they weigh right now? The female is about 270 and the male is about 350. Oh, yeah, we need to redo this. <laughs> this, this, this. We gotta redo this for sure. Oh, happy. He's not as happy as he could be. Although reptiles have very small brains and all they need is heat and a thing of water. But the challenge is that that has to be drained, right? You have to drain that water, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. The water feature that we built for Brian Barchak for RJ, his three legged alligator, he used to change the water weekly. It's now been two years without changing the water. Wow. So that's kind of, you know, so for water conservation purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is on a filtration system. But we still do have to drop it and scrub it every once in a while. So when you put a wetland on that, you'd have to clean it out once a year, even with an alligator in it. I just would like it to look a little more natural. Yeah, that, that's the thing. We can yeah. get it to look really beautiful. Yeah. And so a lot of bureaucracy and red tape. There was already somebody that was going to do a water feature over there. So we may or may not do a water feature. But the problem and the challenge that we have is the guys that are going to do the water feature don't do water features. It's the afterthought. They do fake rock, artificial rock, which is okay. But we want a low maintenance, beautiful ecosystem water feature. So we might start with the, with the gator pond over the, here. The gator
deer pond over here and then we'll see if they uh, can get through the bureaucracy of a state-run organization to let us do something over there but this is not about making money for me it's about the welfare of the animals it's about having fun which is what i love working with certified oxygen counters we can put an event on here and do something so you just might see a future build coming up led by steve sandalis with ed the pond professor over here at a pretty cool teaching college that Amazing. we had no idea even existed Hey guys, so Steve said he does most of the work and you guys help out a little bit. Check out these guns. <laughs> this is my right. son right here. This is Junior, my Thir son. Wait, 13 years, right? You've been with Steve. 16. 16 oh, years. 16 years. Holy cow. Can I started growing this. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got going on here today, boys? What are we Pondless. doing? Pondless waterfall. Pondless. And it sounds like he said he had a big slope back here. It is, yes. I'll check okay. it out. So we are gonna check out a project that is gonna be done in a couple of weeks, I think. Steve said he might have the water flowing tomorrow, but uh, here's what a project looks like that's ongoing. This is what it looks like. Another small backyard. Wow, how you doing? <laughs> Good, put in some color changing lights. Let's see that. There we go. That's how I make money selling that stuff. Look at that slope. So do you put down the wire for gophers? Correct. Yeah, because there's a lot of gophers out here that will cause holes in the liner. Either concrete cloth or that kind of like wire that they use that goes under Underneath all of the underlayment. So that goes down first, then the underlayment comes in. And then right? the liner. And then the liner. And that's a pretty good process. Mm -hmm. So do you like building waterfalls? I love it. It's fun, isn't it? It is. Always creative, always something different. Yeah. And most of being out there too, you know. Yeah. Especially on a day like today when it's 70. Yeah. And look at more oranges. I might just need to grab an orange. So you're the pond expert for, for Mystic, but then he's got a carpentry guy and he's got a plant guy. Correct. And it does some hardscaping, irrigation, all that kind of stuff. Correct. So now here you've got the wire on top of the liner. Correct. Above that, we're going to add a neighbor for a... So what you're going to do is, so the pondless waterfall is going to come here, and then on top of that's going to be another liner, so it'll extend the water out right. there. But why do you need the wire on top of... You know what? We do that sometimes just the water feature's turned off for a while, so critters... Oh, so okay. Yeah, because the nice off. thing about a pondless waterfall is you can yeah. flip it on or flip it off. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. So it's double protection. Yeah, especially in the hills where there's a lot of critters. We don't want holes. So By the way, those waterfalls look amazing. Hold on a second. This looks like you won't be getting that water flowing tomorrow. No. What do you think? Maybe, maybe not. It's looking good. So. It's, it's going to be yeah. a beautiful design. Okay, so the next time you'll see this, it'll be done. From a place in Studio City, and they don't do ponds and everything. A fountain, uh-huh. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so they recommended Steve. Yeah, and so I also have been looking at your website. Uh-huh. It's still just a mess back there, but are you getting excited? Oh, yeah. It's great. Could you picture it before they were doing it or no? Okay, I thought it was going to be, you know, a little bitty. Really? Yeah. So it's better than you have thought already. Oh, a hundred times. And, you know, I thought there was going to be these little... You know those rocks? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I thought. So there's bigger rocks. Uh, oh, huge. It's going to be great. It's gonna be She's great. pointing to these rocks. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She's pointing to these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna be that. Yeah, you know, not even that. It, I thought it was gonna oh, be yeah. like. Yeah, they're like ten times that Which size. Which we're gonna, well, if you will, we'll incorporate yeah. those. Yeah. yeah. So it's always a leap of faith when somebody gets a water feature. Each one is a unique work of art, one of a kind, custom creation. But the process to build it when you're a certified counter remains the same. A lot of people don't have the vision because they don't do this every single day. But we do. This is our jobs. This is what we do as certified aquascape contractors. If you're interested in finding a CAC that can do something as spectacular as this, check out the link below to find a CAC by you and you too can start living the aquascape lifestyle. I love my job.